So I'm going to show you how to uh, basically use data migration. We're getting ready to install an M.2 and switch over from a hard drive operating system to an M.2. So this is a very good video to uh, pretty much teach you how to do this. This is an M.2, but it works for SSD, hard drive, anything. I made a video on this before and a lot of you guys enjoyed it, but you still had a lot of questions in that video. So I'm going to try my best to make this in more detailed. So this is the M.2, but it works the same as a SSD or a hard drive. However much data that you got on your main drive, you will need the exact same on the M.2 SSD or hard drive. If you got a one terabyte main drive and you got 800 gigabytes, you're going to need a one terabyte drive to put your data on. If you got 250 gigabytes of data, then you're going to need around a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Now, if you got under 250 gigs, say 180 gigabytes or so, a 250 gigabyte SSD will be fine because they basically 240 gigabytes. Basically, what I'm saying is you want a SSD with more storage or the same amount of storage that you will be cloning. You don't want one under. You can't clone data on an SSD that's smaller than what your operating system has. So we're going to turn the PC on and I can't remember exactly how much storage is on this to you. I know it's got three terabyte hard drives in it but I'm not sure how much he's got on his operating system. Now we are installing a 250 gig, uh, 240 gig, I think a 960 Evo on this computer. So if he has more than 240 gigabytes on his main drive we're going to have to start moving some games and stuff to his other drives which that's simple to do that's something you can also do if you go into a smaller drive and you just want to uh move your steam games or something to one of your other hard drives or sometimes if you ain't got no hard drive you got to delete them clone your drive oh that boot time's horrible amos You can go make a sandwich if you want to and then come back to the video. It should be loaded in by then. Everybody's just waiting. Oh, we got a screen. There we go. How long did that take? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> We're good. Let's give it a few more minutes. Give it a few more minutes. I usually wait until my lights on when my PC takes off like it's supposed to. Then she's ready to go. Oh, she's still loading the background task. Okay, so Amos says he usually waits to uh, his NZXT cam and everything loads in. What you want to do to check and see how much space you got left on your uh, drive before you clone it, and if you go into a smaller drive, if you got one bigger or the same that you're using now, you should be fine. Not have to do this part and check. But we got 161 gigabytes for your 465. We are putting a 240 gigabyte in this system so we got to get this storage down quite a bit so the best way to uninstall some stuff in that drive go to storage right here and you can click apps and features and this is everything that's on that drive do 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 you don't need skype let's uninstall it i know you never do use it so what i did after I got done with the uninstalling uh, spree I went on, I basically closed this out, went, went back into it, and I got 161 gigabytes used. We got a 240 gigabyte drive going into this, so we should have plenty of room. Now, for anything else that you don't think you need and you want to uninstall, you can do it right here. And everything looks good to me. Uh, Lockstar games and everything. We do have a, a lot of room still taken up. But not all that much. 
So let's go ahead and uh, get to crowning. So what do you want to do next to get this started? Let's go to Samsung uh, Data Migration Software. And go to Samsung Tools and Downloads. This is Samsung.com right here. You can actually do it in a couple spots, but you want to make sure it's from Samsung itself. And then you can go to Data Migration. And here it is. And then you want to take the top one. And once that downloads, you can pretty well just go through the installer and you should be good to go. We don't have Samsung uh, Magician installed and that will tell you your drive's health and everything. But you do not have to install it. You can just uh, install the Samsung data migration tool. So once that's downloaded and installed, you can hit finish. And you should have a desktop icon, which is right here. And it automatically pulled it up for us. So we, we don't need that to happen. We can close that out. And we can close this out too. So you did not have to close that all the way out like I did. But I wanted to close it out because there are a few more things I wanted to do to this PC. It will ask you to click yes. And that means so it can make changes. Uh, this is the drive we got, 136 gigabytes. Uh, target drive is the Samsung 960 Evo, and we do have three or four hard drives in this computer, so that makes it a whole lot easier that hit just automatically new. So let's go ahead and start data migration. And when you hit this, right here, you don't want no power go on and off or nothing like that. But if it does, you just have to redo this drive. It does not affect this, uh, this drive at all so that's one good thing when you push start this will pop up it will be shut down after data migration in 20 seconds when cloning starts all data on the target drive will be deleted and cannot be recovered also files on the source drive that are open cannot be cloned please close all running files before continuing okay let's close all the files so go down here in this little window and just uh, exit all of them. Steam, we exit, we exit NZXT, we exit NVIDIA. Anything that's up that you can close out of. So once you close everything out and make sure everything ain't running that you don't need running, just hit start. And then just hit OK and you will get a progress bar. So, just let it do its thing. It's checking everything. You should see a timer down here. And this is everything being transferred over to your new drive. Now, this can take some time. So, just sit back. Get you another sandwich. Because we had a couple sandwiches already. And uh, wait for it to get done. Now, if you're cloning from an SSD to an M.2 or to another SSD, the speeds is going to be pretty fast. Now, if you're cloning from a, a hard drive to a SSD, that ain't going to be as fast. It's, it's going to take some time because that hard drive can only do so much. Just wait it out and uh, eventually it'll get done. So if you come back, your computer is shut down, guys. That's a good sign. The data migration has completed. Then you can go ahead and remove your drive that's already had your windows and everything on it because it can conflict with your other windows then you want to go into your BIOS when you hit the power button as soon as you hit your power button with this uh, removed go into your BIOS and set your new SSD to that now that's what I'm going to do right now since we've got that removed all you do is power on and hit the delete key instant into BIOS. So you need to find your boot options and this is uh, depends on what BIOS you got would depend how you get the but find boot options we got boot and you want boot priority set to the Samsung drive it seems us did it automatically yours may not so if it don't make sure you set that to the drive you just cloned save changes and reboot
If you boot into Windows, you'll find with your new Chrome drive. So we tried some uh, Warzone out. Well, multiplayer, Modern Warfare, and as you can see, we got quite a bit of lag here. And the lag is actually from that little bitty antenna and the little bitty Wi-Fi card because we always put on a wired network and yeah, this is oh. about unplayable on a Wi-Fi. But it makes a fun experience or a funny one at that and I just had to share it with you. So anyway, that's how simple it is to clone your data migration. Now if this video uh, was helpful, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. If you do, leave a comment. Now I will link in the description another uh, uh, another data migration video that I did a while back. A lot of you enjoyed. It's a little bit shorter than this video, but this video is a little bit more detailed. So maybe you can watch both videos if this video wasn't as helpful as you would have liked. Watch the other video. Maybe it's more simpler. Maybe a little bit easier to understand. Hopefully you enjoyed the channel. Check back every single day for new videos. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Get subscribed if you're new.